Welcome to Uncle C's Bible Lessons, and I am your host, Uncle C. Today's story is entitled, Lot Escapes the City. You may know it also as the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. It is taken from Genesis chapter 19, and after you listen to the story, I would invite you and even your whole family to read Genesis chapter 19 so you can have the whole story. The action text is taken from Genesis 19, 16. But Lot delayed, so the two men took the hands of Lot, his wife, and his two daughters. The men led them safely out of the city. So the Lord was merciful to Lot and his family. Now on to the story. Lot and the angels. Lot was sitting at the, at the gates of the city and he noticed two strangers. It was getting dark so Lot went out to the men and he said, you know what, please come to my house. I can I can feed you, I can wash your feet, and you can continue your journey tomorrow. The two men said, uh, it's okay, we're going to stay out in, 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 the, in the courtyard, you know, we'll just stay here until tomorrow. And Lot said, uh-uh, that's not going to work, because Lot knew that the city was evil, and he did not know they were angels. And he figured if they stayed there, bad things would happen to them. So he begged them. He said, please come to my home. And they listened and they followed Lot. And so said, so done. He fed them. He, they were able to wash their feet. And things were going well until it got a little dark. And there was a crowd at Lot's house. And the men were knocking, knocking at the door, just knocking, knocking, and pounding at the door. Hey, we need to come in here. And Lot came to the door. He said, what do you want? And they were like, we saw those two strangers. You need to send them out to us. We want to introduce ourselves to them. But they wanted to do bad things with the angels. And Lot said, they are my guests. Please, let's not do this. Let's not have this wickedness here. Please, I beg of thee. And they started to say, wait a minute. Lot is a stranger. He came to our city. And now he is trying to rule us. And they were just hitting on the door, punging, punging, trying to get in. And the angels had to pull Lot out. And what happened is... As soon as Lot got back into the home, the angels made the men blind. And they told Lot that they were planning to destroy the city. So they asked Lot, do you have anyone else, any family members you need to take out? So well, Lot said, well, yeah, in this house, there's my wife, there are my two daughters. And my daughters, they are engaged to two men. Um, I can go and ask them to come. And Lot went, but they laughed at Lot. He was not taken seriously at all. And unfortunately, Lot had to leave them and he went back home. In the morning, it was time to leave. The angels told them that they were going to destroy the city soon after dawn. But they were just lingering around. They were taking their time until the angels decided to take them by their hand and pull them out of there because the angels did not want them to be destroyed. So they left. And the angel said to them, okay, you guys, have, there's a city across there. Go right across there because we cannot start this fire until you are safe. But there was one instruction. They were not supposed to look back. But one person looked back. 
they, it started off with Lot, his wife, and his two daughters. His wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt. And it ended up with only Lot and his daughter being saved. Now, there's some points I'd like you to remember here. Jesus protects those who follow him. So continue to follow Jesus, and regardless of what happens, he will protect you. Important, we need to obey his instructions. We cannot linger. We cannot hold back ourselves. Sometimes urgency is needed, and when urgency is needed, we have to move quickly. Also, there was a fire in the store. We also need to warn others that there will soon be a fire. And just as some individuals did not take Lot seriously, there may be individuals who will not take us seriously, but we still need to give the warning. And finally, when Christ takes us from a situation, we should not look back. We may not turn into a pillar of salt, but we might be influenced to go back into that situation. So when Christ delivers us, we should not look back. Now, if I had to say the story in rhyme, I would probably say it like this. Lot saw two individuals on the street, and he invited them home to wash their feet. But they were soon disturbed by men who were unkind. So the angels decided to make them blind. They told Lot the city would burn after dawn, but he and his family tried to linger on. Lot's wife even looked back, and she paid the price. Let us not look back, but focus on Jesus Christ. Okay, boys and girls, are you ready? What is the answer? Question number one. Lot lived in A, Gomorrah, B, Glamorgan, C, Sodom, or D, Scarborough. And if you say C, Sodom, you are. Correct. Question number two. When Lot saw the strangers, he, A, he told them where they could find the police. B, gave them directions to the nearest inn. C, he greeted them, then left them alone. Or D, invited them and took them home. And if you say D, yes, he invited them and indeed he took them home. Question number three, what did the angels do after the men tried to enter Lot's home? A, they pulled Lot from the door. B, they blinded the men. C, they told Lot that the city would be destroyed or D, all of the above. And if you say all of the above, you are correct. And finally, question number four. What happened when Lot's wife looked back at the city? A, she tripped and fell. B, the angels grabbed her hands and said, we have to move quickly. C, she turned to a pillar of salt. Or D, nothing happened. And if you say C, nothing happened. I'm sorry, if you said C, she turned to a pillar of salt. You are correct. So the answer is C, she turned to a pillar of salt. Okay, boys and girls, it's time for prayer. So let us close our eyes, bow our heads, and let us pray to Jesus. There, Jesus, we thank you for your protection. Continue to guide and protect us, we pray. Amen. 
All right, boys and girls, I want to thank you for watching Uncle C Bible Lessons. And if you want to email me, my email address is UncleCBibleLessons at gmail.com. But as always, please receive your parents' permission before writing. And if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, as soon as my stories are uploaded, you will receive them. Well, once again, boys and girls, I thank you for tuning in to me. And as you go through the week, always remember, God loves you very much. Bye for now.